So I'm getting ready to go out this evening in the city to have dinner with friends. Uh, so this is a quick get ready with me video. I wanted to show you how I've been using Fenty Beauty's newest hydrating long wear concealer. So if you wanna see how that looks like on me, I'm also gonna be trying uh, one of the new e.l.f. Cosmetics camo blushes as well. So if you wanna see, you know, just, just a chill, casual, get ready with me using a couple of new products that I've been using in my makeup routine, keep watching, love to have you. So let me tell you what I've already done. You can clearly see I've already done my brows and my eyeshadow look. I used the Natasha Denona Sunrise. I used the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette on my eyes, my brows. I used the Kosas uh, Brow Pop in a medium brown. And for the base of my skin, I used the K-Skin SPF. And on top of that, I use the Danessa Merrick's Yummy Blurring Skin Balm. Mine is just shade six. Um, I have finally found a Danessa Merrick's product that I cannot live without. I've been using this every day since I got it. This is how much I've used. I have hit pan on this. Um, it's just perfect. Like I don't need, not that I ever really used primer to begin with, but this is, this is what I use to prime my skin with. Um, I use it underneath makeup and it just, it sets everything fantastically. I have oily skin, it keeps the oil at bay and I love it. Like it is bay, this is bay. So I got my Fenty Beauty Long Wear Concealer in the shade 370 Neutral. I matched myself at a Sephora. Um, I'm very good at matching myself at concealer for some reason. I just saw it and I knew that this would be the perfect shade for me. So between my Best Skin Ever concealer in the shade 34.5 Neutral and the shade Fawn by LA Girl Pro Concealer, which I've been using forever, I feel like the Fenty Beauty concealer is like the perfect medium. And it has been. Um, I used to use the Best Skin Ever concealer just to lighten a little bit because I used the, uh, I was using the LA Girl Pro concealer. Um, so I was mixing these together because this one is kind of like a little darker, but like closer to my own skin tone. And this one by itself is too bright. So I would mix them together. This is the answer. This is the perfect shade for me. So let me show you how it works. But before I do that, I'm going to apply uh, my foundation. I'm gonna use what is left of my Fenty Beauty uh, Skin Tint Stick Foundation. So that's what that looks like. Um, if you remember, if you watched my um, first impression of this, when you get down to what looks like the end, there is still more and it pushes up. And that's a pretty good amount more since I don't use a whole lot of this anyway. I'm just gonna smooth that on, glide it on. And I'm using the light from my window right now. It looks like the sun is back for a little bit this weekend. I'm very happy for it. I would use the natural light like all the time um, if I could. Uh, I just feel like you get a better sense of what the makeup looks like. Um, <clears throat> but it's been dreary in New York. For the past few weeks cloudy so i decided to take the opportunity to do it here in the early afternoon and i love it i love natural light okay so i'm just going to show you what the applicator looks like i do love the applicator it is literally like a flat doe foot it makes application really easy um, so I usually just do this in the corner here, like this to clean up my eye look. And this is a medium coverage concealer. It's light. 
it's funny i didn't like their very first concealer because i felt like that was too light i was more into full coverage concealer at the time but as i get older and my skin is more mature um i feel like this is a better option for me and I can definitely attest to the long wear. Like I wear this at work, I'm it's over eight hours a day. I come home, I just feel like it's it's great. It doesn't move around. Um, I'm gonna put some on my chin as well, just for the sake of the video on my forehead. I don't ever do this in my everyday uh, routine. I still use LA Girl Pro Concealer for the corners of my mouth. <laughs> so I feel like it's just a little bit darker here. Should I do my nose too? I never do my nose. Let's do my nose. Because the thing that I love about this concealer is that it blends out so softly. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a chance to settle a little bit, even though I have to say, this concealer is the opposite of best skin ever. It never dries down. So you have all the time you need to blend it out. Um, that doesn't mean, at least for me, that it moves around on my skin after it's already set. Look at that. I love a concealer that blends out so nice and soft and seamless that it's like imperceptible. <clears throat> I am gonna build this up just a little bit more under the eye, but this is the first layer and I will say that I was a little concerned about the hydrating claims because I have oily skin, but it's not hydrating like that. It just feels hydrating under the eye and there is a nice like healthy glow to it, um, but it's not shiny or, or greasy looking. It's just, it's just perfect. And I think this shade is so great for me because it is brightening, but it's not too bright um, and it doesn't like look I don't know, like it just looks really natural. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more right here. Yeah, I think this I think this is the perfect amount for me. And I think neutral is a good undertone for me as well. I mean, I've always liked being warm and a little bit golden, but truthfully, this just goes better with my own natural undertone without making me look like pale. So before I lose any more light, I'm going to set under my eye with Huda Beauty's Loose Setting Powder in the shade Blondie. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Did I blend out my nose? I don't even think I blended out my nose. I feel like I can't even see what's on there. I don't even, I don't know. I don't remember. You let me know. <laughs> I put some on my nose, but I don't remember blending it out. It's like five minutes after three right now, and our reservations are not until this evening, so. I like it when my makeup is a little bit worn, so it will be the perfect sort of level of setness by the time we leave.
Okay. So I run out of my LYS uh, bronzer stick in the shade Courage, which is absolutely one of my favorite ever bronzers, but I have several favorite top-notch bronzers. So I am not, you know, lost without it completely. Um, I'm gonna be using one of my first favorite ever uh, bronzers, Yacht Life from Mented. I feel like, I, I, I hope I have a backup of this because this stays sold out when it's sold out uh, for a while. And as, as you can see, I got, I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Um, it does tend to pull a bit reddish, but I love it. And this is what I've been using lately. I'm going to go a bit softer on the bronzer than usual because I want to apply this blush and I want to be able to see that. So for blush, I picked up two of the e.l.f. camo blushes that just recently dropped from e.l.f. I picked up Gorge Orange and I picked up Bronze Bombshell. I will do a swatch of Bronze Bombshell, but I'm not going to be uh, wearing this one today because it looks too much like bronze for me. It's Bronze Bombshell, so it's like I'm already wearing bronzer, um, but the Gorge Orange. This, this is the one. This is my favorite of the two. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly. First of all, there's this doe foot is just adorable. It's so cute. This is what it looks like in the container. Super, super bright. Um, and then this is bronze, bronze bombshell. That's what that looks like. And this is what bronze bombshell looks like. In the back of my hand. Are we getting? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's a nice color, but it's it's not my favorite. I have to say that I was a little scared with this, but I was brave, and um, I really like the results. So. Let me just show you what I do. I just do three tiny dots to start off with. Now see first for something that looks literally like it is radiated glow in the dark, it blends out so nice. And these retail for $7 each. I mean, it's e.l.f. You can always depend on their products to be super affordable. It's probably one of my favorite um, drugstore brands. It's, I've gotten more from e.l.f. than I ever got from NYX. I just really like more of e.l.f.'s stuff. NYX, I liked the butter like lip glosses, but I was never into any of their palettes or, or blushes or anything. E.l.f., I've, I've just stuck with. And it has like this sheen to it, like a little bit of dewiness. Gorgeous. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna do more than that. I think I'm gonna stick with that. I'll just do some over here. You might've gone a little extra on this side. Yeah, I think I put a little more on this side than the other. Um, hmm. I think it works. And it goes with my orange wash of color eyeshadow look. I think it's good. And I think it will calm down a little bit after I um after I set. 
So for setting spray, I'm using LYS's Natural Finish. Let me tell you something about this setting spray. For me, and you can see where it is, right? Like it's, it's down here. It says Natural Finish. It's natural finish. It's not too matte. It doesn't make your skin look dry or, you know, just papery. And it doesn't make it look dewy and oily. Like, it does give a natural finish. LYS just keeps hitting them out of the park for me. Like, I already know I need another bottle of this. And I still have my Charlotte Tilbury, which I love. Because I think the Charlotte Tilbury really marries together everything on the face. But for finishing, I've been loving this. I've been loving it. I never even knew I wanted a natural finish setting spray until I tried this. I thought, you know, my only options were the dewy setting spray or the super matte setting spray. And for a while, I used to think that I wanted my face to be super matte too, but mm -mm. This is, this is what we want. This is what we want. Now I might have to dab my face in the middle of the day, like once, twice at the most, but other than that, I love it. Ooh. So I'm just gonna do mascara. I just think it looks a little bit more natural for me when I don't wear eyeliner. And this is still my e.l.f. mascara <laughs> in very black, probably like $5 or something. Okay, so for lip, I'm not doing anything special either. Sorry, if you, I just feel, I feel bad like not doing like super crazy lip colors anymore, but I just don't. And I'm not gonna come on here and pretend like I do, like I, I don't. So yeah, the only thing that I put on is the Cherry Treat Conditioning lip oil from Fenty. Um, I bought this with the the set that came out like during the holidays with the, um, oh God, the other, the other new flavor. Yeah, I, I would never have remembered this by heart. This one is called Melon Treat. So these came together in a set for the holidays and I was really excited about this second flavor. It is so good. Um, yeah, so this one is, is done. This is the first one that I used. Oh, I love the smell of that one so much. Uh, but the formulas on both are exactly the same. They're amazing. They feel great. They look great. So I am using this one now. And this is the first one that Fenty Beauty came out with, a cherry treat. And that, uh, oh. That's all I'm putting on my lips. So that is it for my short little get ready with me as I get ready to go out in a few hours and meet up with some friends for dinner in the city. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't get to do this as much as I would like to. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's hopefully it'll be an even more beautiful evening. And I hope that you are having a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time you're watching this as well. If you are not already subscribed to my channel and you enjoy content like this, please feel free to click on the subscribe button down below. And if you're watching this video and you've made it to the end and you like it, don't forget to click on the thumbs up button down below to show me your likes. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate those of you who are subscribed to my channel and I hope to see you in my next one soon. Bye.